Right, you will remember this because I've pieced parts of it together with you. Um, and all the surface embroidery is finished now. Um, so, and it's backed. So what I've been doing is working on the edges. So there's still quite a bit of work to do. Along here I've just done French knots just to join that, to seal that. French knots there as well. French knots are winning. Uh, buttonhole across there. There's nothing there. Uh, along here I've done little tiny green seed beads. There's nothing along there yet. And this end still needs to be done as well. Um, and I think, I think I worked on this with you. This little tiny bit here, that's finished as well. So what I want to do today, and this is, these are pages I've made by an artist book. You've seen them, you're probably thinking, oh, show something different. So this is pages I've put together, or well, these are, okay. And these are gonna be in this cover. So this is a wrap for this and it's all going to be stitched together when it's finished um, and also spot the deliberate mistake well not a mistake but the stitching that I've done for the edges is visible on the back but I'm not bothered about that because this is for me and I don't mind um, so this is going to wrap around here somehow um, possibly like that okay and then that'll be a really nice book in a in an embroidered wrap. And I think I'm a bit astonished with myself at the patterns and things I'm putting together lately. Um, I don't know why, but I just love all these things that clash and you wouldn't think go together. Um, but for me, they do. I like them. Um, very rich patterning. I bought some more fabric in London, some Liberty. If you're in my classes I'll show you everything I bought in London in, in one go but this so I bought this beautiful so detailed and this one and I've been using these in the covers I've made for the little handmade sketchbooks I'm putting together so and it's a nightmare going to Liberty because I could never decide what I want to buy I always like it takes me hours and then I'll see something and I'll think oh I like that one that one definitely then I'll wander along the aisle a bit more and I'll forget where the one I liked is so I want to do something on here with you just briefly a little bit of stitching maybe along here um, again something that I did last night on a cover for a little sketchbook so I'm going to transfer that to here so a lot of what I do is transferable um, well a lot of what we all do is transferable I've noticed actually because I'm running two classes at the minute that one is feeding the other and vice versa and I get confused sometimes which one I'm working on and which threads and beads and things I need for each class because they're just all becoming one in my head so I'm just going to quickly turn off to get myself set up with my stuff to do and it'll literally just be 60 seconds probably of stitching something onto there okay right so here we go so what I'm going to do I'm just going to start this off, secure this thread. I'm in my little workshop as well, my little happy place. Uh, just going to be, I've been putting sequins, big sequins, down with a little contrasting bead. And it looks rather nice. Well, I think it does anyway. I'll do another one. Maybe I should have put it a bit closer to the edge so it not dangled but overlaid the edge a bit maybe. Um, but never mind. And what I like about this, if you've been following me for years when I used to just do white on white, everything had to be so pristine, the edges had to be pinned sharp and pinned straight. What I like about this particular piece that I'm working on now is that I'm not stressing about that. I like the fact that it's not scruffy, well, yeah, scruffy, but in a nice way, you know what I mean? Um, that I haven't been stressing about perfectly straight seams and, you know, pin sharp folds and things. Um, 
So that's what's been appealing to me about this. It's a really relaxing thing to do. Um, and I haven't even been looking at the camera, I don't know if you've been able to see any of that. So what I'll have to do is get another sequin. Because I've only got three out and I'll do one more and I'll make sure. I'm pulling the camera a little bit. And then I, I get concerned because at the moment, apart from the things I'm doing for my classes, I'm working with this kind of stuff all the time. Um, this kind of patterning and colours and things and I'm just concerned that my blog's looking the same every day. Um, don't drop your needle apart. But then I guess there's a lot of people out there it's what we do isn't it we work with what we like and we get in a pattern and make a collection maybe and everything does look similar um, so there so that's i'll leave it at that because i don't want to send you to sleep but i'll probably do those maybe two about just let me put my needle through ready for the next one so i'll probably do those up to about here maybe um, but it's a slow process but it doesn't matter because this is left to one side for other things that are more pressing um, but it's getting there it's definitely getting there okay 